Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to look at uh, hashing passwords because previously when we were doing this update password thing we have been storing the passwords in plain text format which is highly uncool, okay? Now, those of you who have been paying attention will have noticed that in the very last video I said that we're going to look at encrypting passwords. This, of course, would not be cool because when we're storing passwords we want it to be a one-way thing. We don't want anyone to be able to decrypt passwords so that's why we're actually going to be using password hashing and I apologize for that little slip of the tongue in the last video, okay? Now, um, password hashing is very, very easy and uh, you know, you won't have any problems with this. However, I highly recommend watching this video on YouTube. Um, the title is Secure PHP Password Hashing, What is a Hash? Uh, it's from a user called Code Course, And I can tell you that it's a very, very easy video. There's three of them in fact, and I think they're about like nine minutes, eight minutes, and then the last one's four minutes. So it's just three short videos, very short, very, very easy. And I highly encourage you to check these out and as a matter of fact go grab a cup of tea and watch these three videos because when you watch these I guarantee you will be an expert at password hashing. So go and check these videos out now, this is required viewing and uh, as I was saying the guy is explaining this better than I could possibly explain it. So go and check that out and I'll see you when you come back. Okay, did you have a chance to check out those videos? Okay, so um, the first thing uh, to do is check which version of PHP we're on just now. So I'm just going to say test and then we'll do echo PHP info because as you now know, uh, to use the new password hash function, we need to be using PHP 5.5 or higher. So I'm doing a little, little uh, PHP info thing. And as you can see, we're on PHP 5.5 point blah blah blah, which is pretty cool. Now, if you are on less than 5.5, then I'm afraid you're going to have to upgrade your version of PHP. But we're okay, so at least I'm okay. So let's march onwards and upwards. Now, even though I'm using some built-in PHP stuff here, even though PHP has everything we need, I'm going to try and, as best as I can, I'm going to try and keep all of the security stuff in one place, you know. So I'm going to make up a little function here called hash string and it's going to take in a string, okay. And we're going to say hashed string equals password hash and then we're going to pass in our string and then we're going to enter the library that we're going to use. So in this, word, in this case, it will be password underscore bcrypt, like so. And then, now, this would work perfectly. We could, we could actually do this, return hash string, and that would work just fine. But because we are perfectionists, I'm going to also add an optional third parameter in here. Uh, I'm going to create an array, like so. And I'm going to add in a thing called cost and just to start us off I'll set this to 9. Okay, so let's just test this out. I'll say function test. Whoops. I'll say name equals David and I'll say hashed name equals this hash string name. And then I'll just say echo you are name and then echo hash name. Okay, so if we go to, uh, let me just see, if we go to site security test, hit refresh and keep hitting refresh, you'll see that this hash changes. Okay, and you'll also see that it's very, very fast, right? Now, PHP defaults to a cost of 10. The cost is how much effort 
the processor will put into hashing the string, right? So PHP defaults to 10. If we bring this up to say something like 14 and hit refresh, can you see how it's taking much longer? Look, refresh, one, two, it's taking about two seconds, right? So I'm going to bring this up to 11, you know? It's a bit stronger than the default. And if we hit refresh, one, two, you know, it's a very slight delay. But I'm actually quite happy with that, okay? So that's the hashed string and it is uh, super, super cool, okay? Um, now I'm going to do uh, another function which is called uh, verify hash okay and that's going to take in a hashed string actually like so and the idea with this is we're going to use a, a, a built-in thing called password underscore verify okay and that's going to take in now let me just i'm so sorry that's going to take in our plain text string okay plain text i'll just say string so you know what's happening and then our hash string and it's going to do a password verify of plain text string and hashed string like so and then it's going to return result okay and that will be either true or false okay so um let's just uh, test this out okay so i'll say something like submitted name equals uh, I'll say Andy, okay, and result equals this, and then we'll say verify hash, and that would be with submitted name, um, and we're going to see if that matches the hashed name, like so, and I'll just say if result is equivalent to true, echo well done otherwise echo uh, f oh, fail uh, f I'll just say fail okay so let's just uh, refresh the screen and try that and as you can see it's saying fail okay no surprises there but if we have the name set to David and we refresh you'll see that it says well done so that's our proof that this does in fact work so I'm going to take this out and that's us ready to rock. So now it's all very easy. We just open up store accounts like so. And where we have this password coming in, well, I'm just going to uh, change things a little bit. We'll take the password in like so, and then we'll load up module site security. And now we'll say data, data p word equals this site security and let's get this right. We want to hash the string like so. And obviously the string is p word. And that is all there is to it, to it. So let's give this a try. If we now go to store accounts and I'm going to say hello you again hello you and then hello you we'll do submit okay the password was updated and if we have a look at store accounts and look at the password there it is look as you can see it has been gloriously hashed and that my friend is password hashing i'll see you in the next oh by the way before i go i'm not going to do delete account just now okay um because 
first of all, it's kind of easy, but actually, in a real world situation, I, I'm, I would actually not allow them to delete account if they had orders in and stuff like that. And that's something that we need to look at further down the line, okay? So I'm going to just leave this for now. We'll come back to this later on. In the next video, we're going to look at something uh, completely different, okay? So I'll see you soon. Bye.